It's how we're treated by the system. But we got to not add to that by doing fuck shit like this. You know what I mean? Now, a couple other news stories. Just real quickly. Oh, hold on one second. Where is it? Okay, so something else that hurt my heart, man. So in Chicago, a seven-year-old girl was killed in a shooting outside of a McDonald's, right? So a seven-year-old girl was killed Sunday during a shooting outside a McDonald's restaurant in Chicago, police said. The girl, Jaslyn Adams, rest in peace to that young sister, rest in peace to that young sister. Her name is Jas Jalen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I mispronouncing the name, Jalen Adams and her 28-year-old father, John Tay Adams, were in a car just after 4 p.m. at the McDonald's on City on the city's west side when two men got out of another car and began shooting at them, according to authorities, right? So, La a a LaWanda McMullen, Jante Adams' mother, told the Chicago Sun-Times her son frantically called her moments after being shot and basically told her, Mama, come get me. Somebody didn't shot my baby. Now, the child was shot several times during the attack, family. She was shot several times during the attack, police say, and was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. Now, Adams was also shot more than once, and he was listed in serious condition as of Monday, right? P police believe the incident was gang-related and connected to a second shooting at a Popeye's restaurant in Humboldt Park just hours later, right? There, a 33-year-old man and a 19-year-old woman were in a blue Malibu when they were shot and injured while sitting in the drive-thru. So here's the thing about the Chicago violence, right? So again, like, like the other story I was talking about, these young dudes got to come to grips with being around each other. Like they got to try to create some type of unification opposed to always attacking each other. But before I get into the story or get into my opinion about everything, look, I, I'm of the belief that some of the gang violence in Chicago is kind of um, allowed to happen by the police. Like if you say there was a hundred, because there has been weekends, right, where they'll, where they'll say there was a hundred fucking shootings in one weekend, in my opinion, family, if there was a hundred shootings in a white community, they would shut the whole goddamn community down. They would shut the whole goddamn community down until they find whoever was in charge of doing this shit, right? So, of course, we can never take some of the accountability off of ourselves. but is the Chicago Police Department doing everything they can to curb the violence? Hmm. I, I, can't, be, I can't be sure... That's actually happening, family, especially keep it in mind that Chicago, Chicago is one of the most segregated cities in the country, if not the most segregated city in the country, right? So these communities, like the west side of Chicago, is like all black, all black, all black, all black, all black, little sprinkles of other shit, but primarily all black, right? So sometimes in my opinion, I'm like, they feeling, you know what I mean? Let these niggas kill each other. You know what I mean? That's not to excuse our actions. But I don't know if Chicago PD is doing everything they can to actually curb some of this violence. And regardless in how this actually works out, right, if this father was an innocent bystander because they said they got out of the car to get him and shot the car up a whole bunch of times. To me, that looks like some shit he was involved in and they just came to get him, right? But let's just say if the father was an innocent bystander, then by all, by all accounts... This was completely wrong of him to get attacked like this, especially with his baby in the car, right? However, if the father was on some street shit himself, then shame on him. If the father was in the street himself, if he's a street dude and he was in the street himself, then shame on him. This is partially his fault, too. If he is street dude, he got to assume some shit like this may happen because the way they came to the car, they shot the car up like a motherfucker, right? So in my opinion, that's vengeance. Like they, they was coming for the right person. I'm, 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 I'm thinking this wasn't no mistaken identity type shit, but in all, in all accounts, the seven, the seven year old baby is gone by the hands of somebody black. Like I say all that to say, even though we have problems with this system, even though we have different elements that like again speaking about chicago chicago's to me their gang violence and everything they go through was that was put in motion mm -hmm. you know what i mean i think that was put in motion by the racism like uh, 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 most of the things that we go through family 
I'm always going to say that as black folks, as melanated folks, we should be accountable for shit. But a lot of times this system has put things in play and now we're just on autopilot. You know what I mean? I've done on my YouTube channel, Melanated Fathers TV, I have some history videos on there about different riots that have taken place in Chicago, race riots. Like they specifically put the black people there in a particular place and we we all should understand how underserved communities are treated like how they're policed how they are lacking resources and all this shit right so it's unfortunate that a seven-year-old that a seven-year-old baby had to lose her life it's unfortunate that a seven-year-old baby had to lose her life. And again, if the father was innocent, I'm I'm praying for that brother, him and him and the mother, that they can figure out a way to become peaceful after this or bring peace to this because losing your seven-year-old child is some horrible shit, whether he was in the street or not. But everybody has to be accountable when shit like this happened. And and and, and it's unfortunate. But if he was a street dude, he didn't don't have your baby in the car with you. If you understand how, how niggas is rocking out here, don't have the baby in the car with you because the little girl was seven years old. You see what I'm saying? So your seven-year-old get killed. Again, if you were innocent bystander, shame on the niggas who didn't make sure they was hitting the right person. But if the father is a street dude, then shame on you too for putting your baby in that situation. You know what I mean? Because honestly, y'all, I'm, I'm empathetic to a degree of the street niggas in our community because my brothers were street dudes, right? Like the money that they made because my mother was sick, the money that they made provided a lifestyle for us. Like without them doing what they did, there were certain nights that we wouldn't have ate. Like that's just real shit. So I'm, I'm empathetic to that lifestyle and I understand how that lifestyle is formulated. But at the end of the day, we need to realize that there should be an exit plan. For everybody in that life, there, need, there needs to be an exit plan. Go talk to somebody 45, 50 years old that's in the pen. They're going to tell you the same shit. You shouldn't be in the street. It ain't nothing out there for you. Like, everybody had that same story, but the young dude sometime got to see that shit for themselves. And ultimately, everybody don't, get, everybody don't come back from the mistakes they make. You know what I mean? You got to see it yourself where you still may end up having to do a long stretch or getting shot yourself or unfortunately either losing your life. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of shit we got to unpack in our community. And, and, and a lot of times it all starts with this system. Like this system has set in motion a lot of the, re, the re, it, it has caused like the, the after effects of systematic racism is in our face. You know what I mean? And like I said, everybody don't have the wherewithal to maneuver away from that. Like, everybody don't have the wherewithal to say, okay, I'm in a community where it's a whole bunch of drugs, there's a whole bunch of street shit going on, I'm going to make sure I go get a job. I'm going to make sure I stay in school. That happens. That definitely happens. But everybody isn't strong enough to do that. Everybody isn't strong-willed enough to do that. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, the, the, the police genocide and, and, and the school-to-prison pipeline, all these things are true and all these things attack our community, but we can't make it worse, family. We can't make it worse by contributing to our own demise. And that's what a lot of these young niggas is doing. You feel me? So, so RIP to the young seven-year-old sister, Jalen Adams, who was killed in a sense.